Before the vote today, House Democrats continue to claim that a Republican tax reform failure would help them win back the House. Here are some of the highlights. It's more like a nail in their coffin. The Republican leadership is asking their members to walk the plank. It is a bill made near purgatory. Does violence to our country's future. Kill the bill. Kill the bill. Kill the bill. Kill the bill. They better kill this bill or we're going to kill them in the next election. You can see the Democrats led by House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi have no interest in playing ball with Republicans. Let's bring in Republican Senator John Hoven. Good to see you, Senator. Hey, yeah, Liz, good to be with you. What do you think the Democrats are saying now after the Republican House did pass tax reform? Well, look, uh, big step forward by the House today. Uh, as you uh, indicated, the Senate Finance Committee is hard at work on our version. Uh, we'll come back after uh, Thanksgiving, pass it, and then go to conference and get the absolute best bill we can for the American people. Is it better to pass something rather than nothing? Oh, look, we're, we're going to pass something that's not only going to provide tax relief to hardworking Americans, but that's going to be pro-growth, that's going to create more jobs and opportunity, that's going to push wages and income higher. So it's both. It's both tax relief and growth. Senator, are you guys pushing in the Senate to do this vote before the December 12th special election with Roy Moore in Alabama? What we're pushing for is to get it done as soon as we can, and certainly before year end, because we want it there even going into the Christmas holidays, because we think that'll be very stimulative in terms, again, of growth, which is so important uh, for not only job creation, but getting wages and income higher. But is it weighing on you guys because Roy Moore, the Roy Moore issue, he, it, the polls show that he is dropping versus a Democrat. Um, the December 12th runoff uh, apparently is looming large in the Senate. What do you say? Liz, I think we have the 50 votes, and I think we're going to have them. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens uh, in that case, but I, I think we're going to have the 50 votes because the American people want this. And oh. so, I, you know, very important that we get it done. That's interesting because we were just reporting that certain senators, including mm -hmm. Murkowski, Collins, um, we don't, I'm not sure where John McCain comes in, and uh, other senators, Bob Corker, Jeff Flake, may throw a wrench in the process. What are you hearing? Liz, I really think they're going to be there. Um, you know, I understand that uh, Senator Collins is worried about the uh, repealing of the mandate, but that creates an awful lot of support in our caucus, uh, and it's something that actually uh, reduces the uh, tax penalty on low-income Americans. And so, again, I really think that we're going to have a lot of the people you talked about, you, Ron Johnson, I know he has concerns, but as we go through this process, I, I believe we're going to have them on board. Okay, you and Johnson and say you guys got the vote. We'll be watching.